What's that? Is that the internet? Say hi to the internet. <laughs> Say hi. So this here, excuse my voice, it's a little sore right now, is my dad's Goya. It is a hollow body. It is two pickups, two volume, two tone with a Bigsby on it. And uh, right now the current rig I'm running through is his 410... Uh, V-verb setup, and I'm just using the pod for like a delay and a reverb effect because I don't want to bust out the giant rack over there. And uh, as you can see, there's all sorts of weird and wonderful funky things in this room. And uh, oh, there's all the nominations for the Junos. So like, I'm not kidding. Like, like, dude was a. Uh... In fact, here, if anyone hasn't ever seen a Juno, let me go find one. <laughs> This here is my dad's Fury Baritone. Fury guitars are based out of Saskatchewan and uh, Saskatoon specifically, I think. And uh, yeah, this is his custom baritone, as you can see from the Johnny V and the Johnny V and all that stuff on it. Uh, Fury is uh, Fury guitars are uh, made completely by one guy, Glenn McDougall, this guy, and very interesting designs and builds everything himself except for the machine heads. So everything here is all himself. Builds his own pickups, his own bodies, his own everything. Even the neck's got a cool little like paint job on the back of it. It's a uh, if the camera can pick that up. And uh, cool nut on this, cool bridge on this, and the controls are a uh, bridge. Or sorry, bridge. Um, both neck and then neck bridge tone. And then these are coil taps if I'm not mistaken. So uh, yeah, awesome guitar. And this is an actual baritone guitar. This isn't like a you know, like a 26, this is like a 28 and a half. This thing is ginormous. It is, uh, it is like almost a bass. It is pretty big. And uh, my dad used it for slide guitar, so I'm gonna butcher some more slide. Let's do it. Another Fury. This is a Fury Bandit, kind of like a like a Strat meets kind of that Tele like single cut look. Very cool guitar. I'm not entirely sure the controls on this one, but what I've gathered is a standard toggle. But this mix is in the middle pickup, and this is the uh, bridge pickup, neck pickup. This is a master tone, and I think this is a coil tap for the humbucker in the back here. So uh, yeah, other than that, pretty straight ahead uh, bolt on. Uh, I think it has a grounding issue right now because if I take my hands off of it, it starts humming. And uh, it could just be the wiring in the house or this, but uh, I'd have to... I'm sure they're probably a wee bit dusty. But uh, yeah, it's Strat type setup, HHS type setup, but uh, as a hardtail. Still that same kind of cool looking bridge on it, same cool looking nut on it. And uh, let's hear how this one sounds.
another weird one. So this is another Regal. I have no idea what it is. I can't seem to find a... I found a serial number, but I can't find like a model name or anything like that. And I, Technically, this is an acoustic, actually. This is 100% an acoustic. <laughs> This is totally an acoustic guitar, but this has the strangest pickup I think I've ever seen on a guitar ever. So first off, the jack is an eighth inch, it's not a quarter inch. Uh, it's a D. Armand pickup. It must be a really old, like, acoustic style pickup, but uh, yeah, it's it's an odd one. Let's, let's hear this one sounds. <laughs> Getting all worn out? Come on. Getting all worn out? You getting all worn out? You getting all worn out? Ah, 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 ah. Come on, what you got? What you got? What you got? So this here is a Schecter Damien Elite. Nothing particularly special. Also the odd one out of the group because it's a more modern style of guitar. And uh, wonderful, wonderful thing. Uh, I ended up getting this as a gift for my dad and I got one for Sonny Rhodes as well too. Who, uh, if you're not familiar with that, that's the guy who sang Firefly's intro song. And uh, yeah, love this thing. Even my dad loved this thing. So even all you purists out there is like, oh, EMGs. My dad loved this guitar. Like, it's already wearing down. I think he had. I think he played it for like six months. You can already see like the hardware has been a little worn down. It's because uh, yeah, he liked to uh, he liked to go full tilt. But yeah, nothing particularly crazy. A bolt on, and uh, kind of like a light gloss, light very light gloss finish on the neck and. Uh, I'm going to prove to you that EMGs can sound freaking awesome. So, this here is a bell tone, a Japanese bell tone to be specific. I don't know the model or what the, what the heck am I looking at here? Alright, I'm going to assume this is some kind of tremolo system that I, the bar, I was probably in a bag in the back somewhere. Uh, yeah, so what I've gathered is that I can turn each one of these pickups individually on and off here in any sort of combination. And I believe these are the volumes for each pickup. And then uh, that I think is like a master tone. Actually, I don't think there's even a tone on this. I think that's just like the master volume. And I think this is just like your tone. Like you have bass and treble. You don't have any, you have all the way on or all the way off. It's like for example, if I was turn this one on. I'll do that. So this one's an adventure for me because I've never actually seen this one. So uh, time to figure out what the hell this thing can sound like.
everything to maximum. <laughs> I think I'm in love. Another weird one. This one is an Electro Muse lap steel. Now, for those who don't know, lap steels are basically slide guitars you play in your lap. And a uh, very straight ahead machine. There is one volume, one tone. You plug directly into it and away you go. And uh, this is my first time ever playing a lap steel. So uh, bear with me. <laughs> Here's another weird one. This is an Epiphone Century. And I think it has a wiring problem. Looks like it is an E422T. And this is number 3370. And uh, yeah, so it's another uh, hollow body. I think it's a hollow body, like a full on hollow. No. Yeah, no, no, no block. Like again, once again, strings are dead completely, so, you know, I don't have enough time to change them all for this video, I apologize. And, uh, yeah, just a very simple s setup here, just kind of a cool tailpiece, just an elevated bridge, and then just regular old pickups. Let's see how this one sounds. Last one, because the rest are either need like actual strings on them or just in pieces and I can't assemble them right now. This is a National Val Pro. This one's an odd looking one. Uh, unfortunately, the back pickup is not really working. Like I can't, I can, I can get like this setting, which I think is like a, a coil tapped or like a, like a reverse phase type sound. I can't get like the, the pickup, right? And it's noticeably quieter than the other pickup. So like, uh, I can't really demo this. Wait, is it this one or is it this one? Hold on. Okay, so it's definitely this one. Look at this, what's this? I think that might be both actually. Oh wait, never mind, that's the humbucker. That's this one then. That's just the back one, and then this is nothing, so my bad, this is both. So it's this one, but I think this one's reversed. This one's both of them. This one is... 
this one, but this in reverse, I think. Alright, well, as far as I know about these guitars, uh, volume tone, volume tone, volume tone. I, I guess that's what the controls are, and then this is like your master volume, so uh, let's see how this one sounds. I hope you enjoyed this super low-tech, low, uh, low-fi, uh, uh, look into my dad's collection. There's still some I'll put away that I haven't shown you, and I haven't shown you the amps yet either. Unfortunately, I just don't have time. I have one of time. I mean, like, there's some really cool ones too. Like, this is a, you know, Pro Reverb right here, and I think this one's like from way back in the day, like before, like, like it's it's a, it's a really old one. Of course, we have the V-Verb 410 behind me here, which is like the ultimate. We got a little G deck here for 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 loops and jamming and stuff. But basically, yeah, this is pretty much the main bits of the collection. So, and uh, by the time you guys see this, uh, it will be 2015. So, rock on, peace out, have an awesome new year, and we'll see you next year. <laughs>